Hi, I'm hydroponics farmer Joe from Green Our Planet. Now that you've harvested all the plants from your deep water culture system, it's time for you to clean it. That way, you can put new planting pods in your baskets and be on your way to planting more seeds. As you can see, my system here is pretty dirty from a long and fruitful period of growing. Over time, your system may be covered with plant debris, algae, and mineral buildup just like this one. So your goal is to make sure that in between planting sessions, the system is as clean as possible. Because as they say, a happy hydroponic system is a clean hydroponic system. The first step in cleaning your system is to simply unplug it and make sure all the electronic components are off. Next, you want to remove the baskets so you can take out the used planting pods and throw them away. If you do happen to have some leftover plant matter like roots or stems, feel free to place those aside and compost them. But the planting pods, unfortunately, are not compostable. Now take off the lid so you can pour out the old nutrient solution from the system. I recommend that you pour the nutrient solution out in a grassy field or in some plants outside or in your compost system since the water and nutrients still offer up some benefits to our ecosystem. So if you can, let's take advantage of that. With the reservoir empty, it's time to start disinfecting it and removing all that plant debris, algae, and mineral buildup you may have caked on in your system. For this, I recommend using a simple solution made with household vinegar and water. So get yourself a spray bottle and fill it with a mixture that includes one part vinegar and five parts water. So basically, you want about 20% vinegar and 80% water. Spray the solution liberally inside the reservoir and let it soak in for a moment. Then, with a sponge or brush, scrub away all that debris and buildup that is collected on the sides and the bottom of the reservoir. A second cleaning option for you is to fill the reservoir with a gallon of your vinegar cleaning solution and just let it soak for a few minutes. Then, as with the spray bottle cleaning method, scrub the sides and remove all the mineral buildup. After that, you also want to soak or spray the planting baskets and the lid with your vinegar cleaning solution so that they too are getting clean and disinfected. Once you've washed all the components of the system with the vinegar cleaning solution, make sure to rinse that solution away with some water to make sure that it's no longer present in the system. Since any vinegar residue left behind can have a negative effect on your next planting cycle. Next, fill your reservoir halfway up with clean water, 
turn on your pump and run the water through the pump so that it removes any unseen debris that may have built up during the growing or cleaning process. The next important step is to clean the system with some bleach. Although the vinegar will help deep clean it, it's bleach that will kill the algae and any other pathogens that might be lurking unseen in the system's reservoir or on its components. To do this, we follow the same procedure we did with vinegar, but our bleach cleaning solution will consist of one tablespoon of bleach for every gallon of water. After you have wiped everything down with bleach, once again, make sure to wash and flush out the entire system with clean water so that there's no more bleach on any of its components. Now that our hydroponic system is clean and fully disinfected, it's time to add back a new batch of concentrated nutrient solution. And with that, you're ready to start the planting process all over again. Remember, having a clean and well-functioning hydroponic system is key to growing healthy vegetables and herbs. So make sure to take care of it and clean it after harvesting or whenever you feel the system is getting too dirty. I'm hydroponics farmer Joe from Green Our Planet. Happy growing, bye.